All right, folks. Well, just raise your hand if you didn't see this one coming. I'm going to try out the newfangled S'mores Oreos from Nabisco. Uh, obviously, it's a limited edition product. You know, Oreos are pretty much doing the Taco Bell route nowadays. You're losing a new novelty product every uh, 28 days or so. But this one, you know, I gotta give it credit. It's a little bit more inventive uh, than the normal offering. Starting with the fact that instead of using the normal vanilla or chocolate exterior shell, they're actually using something that's graham clack, uh, not graham clackered, graham crackered, uh, not graham crackered, graham cracker flavored. Oh, wow, that's a really hard statement to kind of spit out when you really try to get it out on video. Which is very unique because a lot of times with the Oreo products, you know, they do, uh, the, the, the core itself, the actual uh, cream is flavored, whereas the shell itself, uh, the little cookies, are pretty much your standard flavor. So this is one of the first examples I've seen in a while of Oreos actually releasing a product where the cookie itself, the shell, it tastes something different from the normal product. So that's pretty inventive in and of itself. And, uh, you know, but like a lot of Americans, you look at the term s'mores Oreo, and you just got to think Nabisco missed a golden opportunity here. I mean, this thing should have been called s'more Oreos, or s'moreos. I mean, how often as a marketer do you get the ability to rhyme the word Oreos with anything? So I think uh, that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity the company here just clearly is. Okay, as far as the products and size, a very quick overview. Yeah, they look like your basic uh, vanilla Oreos. Uh, you got the, the cream there. I want to show you something very interesting. I pulled this out earlier. Uh, this is what you're working with for the most part. Um, you just uh, have the cookie. It tastes very much like a graham cracker. I tried one earlier. And uh, the cream itself, it's very dualistic. It has almost sort of a dowel thing going on here. As you can see here with this one in particular, you know, if you had the, the white dot over there, it actually would be an edible yin yang, which is pretty cool. And also, I like this one because it kind of looks like uh, the face of a penguin. So I'm going to put this on eBay in a couple hours, see if I can uh, retire off of it. I'm sure someone out there is ignorant enough to, to go for that. Uh, but yeah, as far as the products themselves, you know, they're pretty decent. I'm not a huge fan of s'mores, but you know what? I can eat them. They're way better than, you know, root beer flavored Oreos, obviously. And I kind of like sort of the furtive uh, political, political socio-commentary going on here. I mean, as you can see here, these aren't just cookies, but they are black and white cookies. So do you think maybe Nabisco is trying to make some sort of a cultural commentary on the state of contemporary U.S. race relations? You know what? I think they may be. Look at all that white privilege going on in that cream. Just saying, that's pretty profound. And, uh, you know, I like the whole metaphor here because, you know what, we are this dynamic, but you know what? We can all come together in delicious graham cracker harmony. I'm not sure what the graham cracker is supposed to be a metaphor for. Um, how about uh, mass commercial consumption culture? You know what? That's good enough for me. So yeah, as far as products themselves, pretty good. Like I said, not my favorite. It's no uh, watermelon Oreos. It's certainly no pumpkin spice Oreos. But as far as uh, some of the later offerings, the, the cotton candy Oreos, I actually think this one's one of the better ones. Uh, once again, very good flavor. Chocolate marshmallow gels very well. Once again, the shell itself is actually flavored, which is something new and unique. And I think uh, Nabisco can definitely exploit that for future products. But yeah, overall, I think this is actually pretty good. If you haven't tried it, you know what, they're here for a limited time only. And this is going to be one of those things we remember about summer 2015. Just as much as we remember, you know, Jurassic World and it being underwhelming. So there you go. Some more Oreos. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. They're all right.